This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos. Today we're going to prove the secant-secant lengths relationship. We have another video that actually shows you how to use the relationship. This video is actually going to show you how the relationship was formed and why it is the relationship works. Alright, let's start with the diagram. Alright, in this diagram you can see that we do have two secant lines. Uh, remember, a secant line is a line that intersects the circle twice. And you can see that this line does intersect the circle here and here. And this other secant line intersects the circle here and here. Alright, so I'm going to be talking about specific lengths. <clears throat> and uh, in my other video when I show uh, students how to calculate lengths, there's an expression I use. I say the whole distance times the outside of one secant line is equal to the whole distance times the outside of the other secant line. Okay, let me say that again. Okay, the whole distance of this secant line times the outside of that secant line is going to be equal to the whole distance of this secant line times the outside of that secant line. Okay, so uh, that's the relationship we would use. All right, now this video is going to show why that relationship works. Okay, so I'm going to prove why it works. All right, so for the purposes of the video and of proving, I have to use specific lengths. So I'm going to mark off certain points that are going to be important. So I'm going to say that this is point A, this is point B, where the circle and the secant line meet. Likewise, over here, this is going to be point C, where the secant line meets the circle. This is going to be point D, right there. And this is going to be point E, right there. Okay, so uh, I want to prove that, let's see, the whole distance times the outside, okay, well, it, let's see, that would be AC times, let's see, that would be uh, mm, AB. There's one secant line product. And then let's do the other one. We're going to take the whole distance, that would be AE, and multiply it by its outside distance, AD. Okay, so I'm going to show that this relationship works within this um, situation that I have here. All right, well, I have to uh, show uh, some certain relationships exist and in order to do that I am going to draw some new uh, distances in this diagram. So what I want to do is draw a point, I'm sorry, a segment that is. I'm going to draw a segment from here to D and I'm doing this freehand so it's going to look a little wavy but let's assume that that's a segment. <laughs> it's a bad looking segment but what are you going to do? I'm doing this by hand. Okay and here's another one. Eh, not too shabby for by hand. Okay, so let's assume that those two segments are also in the diagram. And when I draw those, what you should notice that I have an angle C here. As a matter of fact, that's angle A, C, D. That angle A, C, D meets that uh, end of the circle, and it eats, meets the, that is, the end of the circle right here. Okay, this arc. You can see that that angle cuts into the circle at that arc. Okay, interesting little fact. Okay, then we also have angle E. Well, more specifically, we would say it's angle A, E, B. This angle also hits the same arc of the circle. And you'll notice that these are both inscribed angles because their vertex is on the circle, and they've got chords for sides. So if I have two inscribed angles that intercept the same arc, well, then I know that these two angles have to be equal. That angle has got to be equal to that angle. So, you know, in a specific situation, let's say this was 20, this is a uh, 20 degrees, we know that these uh, inscribed angles are half. So this would be 10 degrees, that would be 10. They would have to be equal to each other because they have the same uh, subtended arc, as they say. All right, anyway. I know that those two angles are equal. Well, 
turns out that angle A is congruent to itself by the reflexive property. And that's kind of convenient because I really do have two overlapping triangles. I hope you can see that I have triangle ACD and I also have triangle AEB. Okay, so let me write that down because that's kind of an important fact also. So I have triangle, let's see, what did I say? That was A, C, D, A, C, D is similar to triangle, hmm, all right, I said A, C, D, so this is going to be A, E, B. Okay, why? Well, because I have two pairs of angles uh, congruent, so I'm using the angle angle postulate angle angle similar postulate okay so I've got angle C to E yep that's what it shows in my similarity statement and I've got A is congruent to itself yep okay so if I got two angles that are congruent between two triangles I know the two triangles are similar alright All right. if this is the case that these two overlapping triangles are indeed similar to each other then there are some consequences that come from this statement. And one of the consequences, right over here, is that their sides are going to be in the same ratio. Okay, that's a mouthful. Let me explain what that means. Okay, what it means is, it means AC, this segment AC, is got to be uh, in the same ratio, or I should say, I should form, I should be able to form a ratio with AE. So if I take the ratio of those two sides, AC to AE, that ratio should be the same as AD. to AB. Why? Because I've got two triangles that are similar. So the sides of the two, the corresponding sides between the two triangles have to be in the same ratio. That's a fact that goes uh, also with similar triangles. All right, so now that I've got this uh, proportion, two equal ratios of proportion, I can now cross multiply. So I'm going to take AC times AB, so AC times AB, is going to be equal to AE times AD. And I should have bars over these because these are segments. So I should have little bars above all of them. And that's exactly what I wanted to prove. And we could see that really that the whole distance times the outside is equal to the whole distance times the outside and it's working. And there you go. That concludes the proof of the secant secant blanks relationship. Make sure you go back to mathguide.com, check out our other instructional videos, our interactive quizzes and text-based lessons. Take care.